Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Shala Marie. In this video, I'm going to share how you can earn 20,000 a month even if you are just a student. For those who do not know, I am actually a fourth year medical laboratory science student or a medical technology student. As of now, we are having our virtual internship so I have time to do side hustles. I applied for some online platforms where I could earn decent money. One of these platforms is Course Hero. Ano nga ba ang Course Hero? Course Hero is an American-based online learning platform where students have access to study resources and where students could ask questions to tutors. I applied here as a Course Hero tutor on August 31, 2021 and I get hired 4 days after my application. In a span of a week, I managed to earn $100 or 5,000 pesos. So if consistent ka sa pagsasagot as a tutor, then 5,000 times 4 weeks, you can earn up to 20,000 in a month. Ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng isang Course Hero tutor? As I've said earlier, students can actually ask questions on this platform. As a tutor, your job is to answer these questions posted by the student. Ano nga ba ang kagandahan ng pagiging Course Hero Tutor? Bakit ako na-encourage na mag-apply in this tutoring platform? First, this is a non-voice or text-based tutoring platform. This means that hindi mo kailangan ng face-to-face -face or virtual meeting para mag-explain ng sagot mo sa student. All you have to do is to type your answer or yung explanation mo. That's why it's called text-based or non-voice. Second is flexible time. This is actually what I love the most about Course Hero kasi pwede mo siyang gawin anytime you like or kung kailan ka pinaka-available. For example, ako as medtech intern, I have Thursday, Friday, and Sunday as my free time. So, pwede akong magsagot ng mga tanong within those days lang. Third is, you can earn supplemental income while you are applying the concepts that you have learned. Kapag nag-apply ka kasi, yung subjects na i-assign nila sa'yo ay dapat related dun sa um, course mo or dun sa subjects na natik mo. So, for example, ako, I have taken biochemistry in my second year. So, if in-assign nila sa akin yung subject na yun, the questions will be about biochemistry. So, kapag nagsasagot ako, I know that I am earning and I am applying the concepts I have learned in that certain subject. So, sino ba ang pwedeng mag-apply sa Course Hero? Sad to say, hindi po pwede ang mga high school students, whether junior or senior high school. So, ang mga eligible lang po or pwedeng mag-apply sa Course Hero Tutor are college students and college graduates, professionals, or degree holders. Now that you know what Course Hero Tutor is and assuming na convinced ka nang mag-apply to become a Course Hero Tutor, then here's how to apply. What are the requirements in applying? There are three requirements. First, one copy of your education or teaching background. For example, diploma, teaching certificate, professional license, transcript of records, or screenshot of grades. Take note na yung diploma na isasubmit mo is yung diploma mo nung nag-graduate ka ng college hindi nung nag-graduate ka ng high school. Ako noon, ang sinabmit ko ay yung screenshot of grades ko kasi yun yung available. Second is a government-issued ID or school ID. And then third is one selfie of yourself holding the same ID next to your face. So parang ganito siya. May nakalagay na note dito, if your document is more than one page, please convert it into PDF file. So kapag two pages or more than two pages yung um, grades mo, for example, then please convert it into PDF file. So now, let's proceed to the application process. Sign up as a tutor on bit.ly slash chexpert. Link in the description box. So kapag naklik mo na yung link na yun, um, you will be redirected into this page. Click apply now. And then ito yung mag appear sa screen mo. Create a tutor account to start your application. So, by the way guys, you can get your tutor earnings via PayPal. So you have to create your PayPal account first before creating your tutor account. And make sure na yung nilagay mong email dun sa PayPal account mo is the same dun sa ilalagay mong email dito sa tutor account mo. So ayan, input mo lang yung email address, username, 
and then password. After which, click sign up as a tutor. And then, maga appear itong tatlo. Select subjects, test your knowledge, enter personal info or credentials. Please do make sure na yung sinelect mong subjects are reflected to the submitted educational background or yung copy of grades mo. So, the available subjects as of today, October 2, 2021 are math, business, science, engineering and technology, arts and humanities, social science. So, under math, we have algebra, applied mathematics, calculus, and so on. And, and then we have also statistics and probability. Sa business naman, we have subcategories such as accounting, finance, business, management, and economics. Science, we have health science. Close po ang nursing or pharmacology. Pero available po ang health science. Under biology, we have anatomy, bioengineering, biophysics, and so on. We have also chemistry and physics. And then engineering and Technology, we have computer science and engineering. And then arts and humanities, we have English and writing, history, foreign language, philosophy. As of now, close po ang religious studies, pero open ang architecture and music. Lastly, we have social science and under social science, we have subcategories such as law, social science, and political science. So you can select up to 20 subjects. Actually, um, some subjects now require quiz, pero way back nung ako yung nag-apply, nag wala pang quiz. But according to my friend, some subjects that require quiz are math, um, accounting, biology. So after selecting subjects and doing the quiz, then you have to enter personal info and credentials. So yun, input mo lang dito yung first name mo, last name, email, phone number. Sa phone number, you have to make sure na naka Philippine phone number siya. And then, are you above the age of 13? Yes. What is your country of residence? Philippines. What is the highest level of education that you have completed? So, kapag college student ka, you have to click there currently attending college. Pero kapag graduated ka naman, associate's degree, bachelor's degree, or master's degree. Ganun. And then, other profession. Here, you can input yung course mo. For example, Bachelor in Medical Laboratory Science. So, have you tutored before? If yes, then please list where and or on which other platforms. Pero sa akin naman, hindi pa ako nakapag-tutor before so I click no. Then, how did you hear about Course Hero? Ang nilagay ko dito is YouTube. So, if you have a referral code, please enter it here. So, ang referral code guys na maibibigay ko sa inyo is MIF. I repeat, the referral code is MIF. This referral code is very helpful to you guys kasi kapag may referral code ka, then ipra-prioritize nilang i-review yung application mo. Moving on, we have here educational and professional verification. So, click let's begin. And then here, dito mo na i-upload yung mga requirements na sinabi ko kanina. So, please upload documentation that demonstrates your educational background. So, ang in-upload ko noon ay PDF kasi more than one page yung grades ko. Then next is, please upload a clear photo of your ID. So make sure na dapat clear yung ID mo, hindi siya blurred. And then front and back dapat yung picture mo. Then convert it into PDF file. Please take and upload a photo of yourself holding the same ID. Ayan. Pag natapos mo na yung three steps na yun, um, Dapat ganito yung mag appear sa screen mo. We're processing your application. Thank you for applying to be a tutor on Course Hero. Sabi dito, please allow up to 5 business days for us to review your application. Pero nung ako, um, I only waited 4 days before na-approve yung application ko. Please do check your email always kasi doon sila magme-message if approve ka or hindi. Kapag approve ka, ganitong klaseng email yung mara-receive mo. Your tutor application is approved. Congratulations! Your application to become a Course Hero Tutor is approved. So, ang next na gagawin mo is to click yung 1, 2, 3 na nakalagay dito. Answering a question para malaman mo kung how to provide a great answer. And then, click warnings, violations, and probation para malaman mo kung ano yung mga dapat mong gawin at hindi mo dapat gawin. And then third, withdrawing your earnings. 
click start answering questions para ma-redirect ka dun sa website nila. So here, getting started as a tutor on course Hero. You have to read all of this very carefully kasi at the end, magbibigay sila ng quiz regarding dun sa binasa mo. We have their core values, best practices, academic integrity, and how tutoring works. Don't worry guys, kasi yung quiz madali lang naman yun. Kayang-kaya niya yun. And then, next, mararedirect ka na dun sa tutor dashboard wherein pwede ka nang magsagot ng mga question. How to withdraw your earnings? So first, Make your PayPal account. Make sure that your PayPal account mo is active and verified. How to verify your PayPal account? You can search on YouTube tutorials regarding that. Dapat ilink mo siya dun sa GCash account mo or any bank account. So step one, log in your Course Hero account, and then dun sa upper right side, makikita mo yung profile mo dun, and then you have to click My Rewards. By the way, guys, the minimum requirement for payout is twenty dollars. So, kapag wala pang $20 yung um, rewards available mo, then you cannot withdraw it. Dapat more than $20 or mismong $20. Ang maximum naman is $250. So, click withdraw money yung nakapink and then you should see payout completed successfully highlighted in green. Ganyan. Then last, you have to double check your PayPal balance para ma- Check mo kung pumasok na yung earnings mo. You could also track the dates of your next withdrawal of earnings under the pending transactions table. So assuming na approved tutor ka na, let's have a tour sa tutor dashboard. So, there's an area for find questions to answer, questions you've answered, and then frequently asked questions. Under find questions to answer, you can see there different categories. So, mag-select ka lang ng category or Um, subject dyan na gusto mong answer run. And then, click start tutoring. Hintayin mo lang na may mag-appear na question. And then, as you can observe here, there are two buttons, skip and accept. So, kapag alam mo sagutan yung question and very sure ka na kaya mo siyang sagutan, then you have to click accept. Pero kapag nagdadalawang isip ka, click skip. Kasi kapag sinagutan mo yun ng hindi ka sure, then there's a possibility na the unhelpful rating nila yung sagot mo. Students can actually rate your answers. It could be helpful rating, pwede rin no rating, and pwede unhelpful rating. Helpful and no rating will be paid, but unhelpful rating will not be paid. So, as of now, I have answered 56 questions and Isa pa lang naman yung na-receive kong unhelpful rating but my helpful rating is still high which is 93%. Kapag nag-skip ka ng question, mag appear ito sa screen mo. So tell us why you're skipping this question. Isa-select mo lang doon yung rason kung bakit mo in-skip yung question na yun. Question is too long, out of my knowledge, incomplete question, missing data, and so on. Pero kapag in-accept mo naman, ganito ang mag appear sa screen mo. There will be two boxes. Box 1 will be for the answer itself, and the second box will be for the explanation. Sa answer box, dito mo ilalagay yung um, quick summary of your answer. Dapat dito, direct to the point ka and easy to understand. Sa explanation box naman, you have to input there your further explanation dun sa sagot mo on or how did you arrive into that answer. So in this, you could place references also and make sure na hindi plagiarize yung sagot mo. Kasi kapag plagiarize, then there will be a possibility na ma-remove or ma-disable yung account mo. Ang isang kagandahan dito sa Course Hero is meron silang respective emails para sa specific um, concerns. So, for questions about your tutor account, payments, student ratings, warnings, and violation concerns, or anything about the Course Hero website, then please email tutor-support at coursehero.com On the other hand, for inquiries about applications, referrals, contests, please email ph-tutor-ops at coursehero.com So, ilalagay ko na lang yung mga email na yun dun sa description box. 
You can also join the Facebook group, link in the description box, para inform ka sa mga updates regarding Course Hero. So, I'm so grateful that I was hired to become a Course Hero tutor kasi legit na kumikita talaga ako. So, if you are a college student like me na gustong kumita for extra income, then you better apply now. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I've given you enough information about this platform. This has been Shala Marie and see you on my next video. Bye!